wrote it around and you know okay yeah Paul's not crazy because I said true am I crazy like you know if you drive it and don't feel anything well then I'm just crazy okay if you drive it and it's like you see what I'm talking about then I'm not crazy well of course he texts me he says you're not crazy anyways check this out it needs a left wheel or the, the dry mouth hang on the Grizzly needs a left rear wheel bearing both rear axles rear brake pads for rear drive axle brake front drive shaft boot kit and both front ball joints so I've already priced out the rear axles two of them is $209 and they include the wheel bearings Yee! and um, so that is good I'm happy with that price now today I'm going to be pricing the uh, rear yeah, left wheel bearing, both rear axles, yeah. Rear brake pads will be the next thing I'm checking today because I'm doing it one thing at a time and I'm finding it on friggin' Amazon of all places to buy parts for a, uh, an ATV. So anyway, there's a few hundred dollars, well, with good timing because um, I get my Trillium rebate for my pharmacy needs every year because I'm on disability and... I gotta look up there. I keep I'm looking down. I gotta look up here. Sorry, guys. Um, and then there's the carbon, the carbon um, rebate for the carbon tax or whatever. So I get that. So perfect timing. It gives me more than enough money to buy the parts. And of course, True will, you know, he'll whip onto it. So that's uh, I'm really happy with that. Um, you know, like okay. At least now we're on, you know, we're, I mean, I knew that I was going to have to do stuff to ATV. So now we're on to it. Like we're, you know, the things that are becoming like, okay, we got to do this. That's why I was pulling to the left. That's why the brakes were making the weird noises when I, you know, when I was sitting trying to, because uh, like you, you push the rear brake down to shift it. And I was hearing a clunk, like a bad noise. Then when I was driving and I hit the rear brakes, no noise. What's funny though is I didn't hear grinding because I guess it's uh, the pads right down to the metal. It's like holy shit. So, anyways, that's the news on the ATV. So I'm happy. A few dollars to go out, but I'm happy. Main thing, right? Like I know what's going on. So there's the news on the ATV. Uh, the boat I haven't tested yet. Um, that's coming. Obviously not tomorrow or Thursday. Although maybe with all this rain, I just find a puddle and back the boat. I'm not going to do that. But anyways, I'm going to try and get out this weekend. We'll see uh, how uh, how true schedule is. I want to do it over by his place because then if he's there and he uh, he wants to go over the motor and make sure it's all tuned up and ready to go, I don't want to be stuck in Georgian Bay uh, 20 kilometers out with no motor. You know, with, uh, with rainbow trout sitting in my boat wanting to be et. So... All right, so that's about it for there. The trailer will be fine the way it is if that little leak does occur. You guys can't see it. I always had that little leak there, but it rarely leaks because we pretty much fixed everything. But I always have a bucket to put underneath it if in case it does. It depends on how fast it comes down because it... I think what's happening, there's a spot that must be pooling up there, and there must be something new that's letting just a tiny bit of water, but it's not to go drip, drip, drip. So, I expect it'll be leaking tomorrow. I'm probably going to be without internet for a couple of days. Uh, well, not a couple whole days, but in and out, because when the rain's coming down that hard and fast and all at once, it screws up the... The, the satellite it can't search the satellite properly it goes through clouds and all that but like if you get like super heavy snow super heavy rain it's going to shut it down now what it happens is the minute the rain slows down the, the starlink kicks back in again and you're back going but then if the rain goes and like in waves you know it'll get hard again and then you'll be without internet so i'm probably going to be in and out i might if it if it's still running i might even try to because digger's been bugging me about streaming live when we hit 420 and of course anybody that knows the meaning of 420 and that's just a thing with me and him you know because uh, he's a he's a smoker as well and uh, so this is just a thing with me and him so but anyway you guys can join 418 so only two more users uh, and then we're at 420 so you know we may hit that by tomorrow so I might end up streaming live from here tomorrow 
uh, because of the 420 thing, and he's right, I'm going to do that. 